Learning about where their food comes from is really important for kids, and it struck me as even more important when I realised my own son didn't know where milk came from. One day, I showed him some milk in the supermarket and mentioned it came from cows, and that was the end of him drinking milk for a long time. So, that left me thinking, I've got to create an environment where kids can learn both in a practical and theoretical sense. Hence, the sustainability classroom. That led us to create a competition for four schools to win a sustainability classroom to be built. We were overwhelmed by the response, and I'll show you the four winners today, starting with Chewett Hill Primary. This classroom starts with things from the ground up. Chewett Hill already demonstrated a proficiency in worm farming, so we expanded on that with composting systems too. Mary O'Neill is the vice principal and coordinator of the garden. Now Mary, tell us about how the school's using the garden. Well, at the moment we're doing lots of planting so that we can eventually get the produce going and then use the produce in the kitchen. The scraps from the kitchen then go back into the worm farms, it goes to the chickens and we create that cycle and the children are learning about sustainability that way. One of the interesting things about an area like this is obviously the, the chance for kids to interact with things in a, in a hands-on way. Yes. Does that work for some students better than it does for others? So maybe students who don't do as well from a theoretical point yeah. of view? Always, because children have different, well everybody has a different way of learning and for the children that may, may not be as good in book work, they can come out here and the language that they can give people shows that they understand what's going on, but they do it a different way. It's just amazing the difference it's made to some children. In the various parts of our garden, we have the QR codes, the children use a smartphone or an iPad, and it has links to it showing what you use the mint for, or the basil, or the bay leaves, and some recipes as well, I believe. Now there's one other thing I want to ask you about, and that's the living element. You've got a, a couple of aquaponic systems in here, you've got chooks. Mm -hmm. Is yep. that working well for, for kids as well? It is, yeah. We had some concerns with how we're going to manage that, so yep. we created garden ambassadors for the children who were interested. So they come in every day before school, they feed them water to the chickens, they collect the eggs and the eggs go into the kitchen so for cooking or if we've got excess, we sell them off to the parents who love the fresh eggs. Well, Every class has a job to do in the, in the garden on a, on a weekly basis, daily basis. The garden here is definitely a work in progress and the learnings here are as much for the parents and teachers as they are for the kids. After all, this is new territory for both to grow in.